operators. In the last lesson, we studied uh, about bitwise operators. Actually, uh, I took a deep drive uh, into studying a deep drive uh, in bitwise operators. Sorry, uh, the reason uh, I went ahead into great detail uh, for bitwise operators uh, is actually very straightforward because uh, bitwise operators are one of the operators which you don't have studied in mathematics before. And uh, the other reason is uh, this is an operator which is a bit tricky because it operates on uh, bit levels that means zeros and ones and uh, it is uh, one of those operators which will make your job very easy but at the same time uh, it takes a bit of time uh, to actually get what bitwise operators actually does okay so this lesson i'm going to look at all other operators combined because uh, most of these operators uh, most of these operators right uh, we are either going to uh, study in the next lessons or you would have already studied okay so for example uh, for example as i already told uh, this is of uh, this operator these operators we're going to study in the next coming lessons okay and uh, this table actually lists the all the operators in the order of precedence these uh, uh, the ones listed at the top have the highest precedence and the ones listed at the bottom have the lowest precedence and uh, operators which are on the same row have the same precedence okay so for example uh, for example you know this operator is a function call operator and this operator is an array uh, to get the element in an array and this is a pointer indirection operator and this is to access the member of a structure so these operators we have not uh, at all studied okay and few of the things i would like to mention See so these operators, right? Star, uh, division, uh, percentage, plus, minus, less than, less than, equal to, greater than, greater than, equal to, equal to, equal to, not equal to. These are operators you have already gone through. Okay. A uh, few of the operators which you have not gone through, I will go through through examples. Okay. So for, for first of those operators is the increment operator. Okay. So let's have a look at that. Okay. So you have uh, this increment operator and the decrement. Operator. What this basically does is it increments uh, a variable by one. It can be operated only upon uh, variables, and it can be operated only upon type int. That means char, short, int, long, long, unsigned. These it cannot be operated upon double. Okay. Okay. So first, let me have, uh, have a look at the uh, increment operator. What it basically does is it increments the variable by one. This increment operator and this decrement operator decrements a variable by one. Okay. So uh, there are basically two forms of it. One is the post increment. That is this. That is the first of the expressions. What it really means is it will assign the value of i to a, and then it will increment the operator, the variable i. That means let's say if i is 2 okay now the value of uh, a will be 2 okay but uh, the value of i will be 3 for example if you if you again do it pre increment that is plus plus i what will happen is the value of a will be 3 and value of i will also be 3 i hope you get it so let me just explain it uh, in terms of uh, decrement operator as well so let's say uh, you want to assign uh, i to a okay now i let's say is 4 okay and now uh, it's a uh, pre decrement operator uh, so what happens is first the value of i gets decremented that means 4 to 3 and then 3 gets assigned to a but if we had used it in terms of post decrement that means i minus minus what would have happened is uh, the value of i will be assigned to a that means 4 will be assigned to a and i will be reduced to 3 afterwards okay so that's the difference between pre increment and post increment so we'll be using it uh, and i'll be explaining it again when we use it in our programs so but let just me go to the next operator okay so the next operator is the assignment operator see when you say a equal to a plus 2 do you observe that a is common here you can also write it as a plus equal to 2 so the same is with all the operators a minus equal to 2 a star equal to 2 a percentage equal to 2 and uh, the same is with you know uh, uh, bitwise operators that we introduced last last lesson 
you could use a light shift uh, one equal to one so but the, uh, okay, let me repeat it a right shift equal to one that means a will be right shifted and it will be assigned to a itself okay so that's the difference and uh, let me look at uh, the another operator this is called as the conditional operator okay what basically does is it is nothing but an if else expression so if you uh, it's like this if a greater than b uh, you say max of a underscore b equal to a else uh, else max of a underscore b equal to b so that is actually represented in this so as you see this variable right so first thing this conditional expression will get evaluated then if it is true whatever is here uh, that means the left side of the colon right gets evaluated uh, if it is false right uh, the right side of the semicolon of the colon gets evaluated so basically it's an if else expression that we are trying to evaluate okay so okay afterwards uh, i'm going to talk about uh, you know some uh, some things that you need to keep in mind okay for example let's say you have this kind of an expression result res1 equal to x1 is a function call plus x2 is a function call now uh, the c programming language does not guarantee uh, whether x1 will get executed first or x2 will get executed first it is uh, compiler dependent uh, we can have x1 uh, executed first or x2 gets executed first what c guarantees is that both will get executed and then the result will get added and assigned to res1 so uh, when you have write programs like this or expressions like this uh, we need to make sure that uh, the order of execution uh, will not change the result for example if x1 it gets executed and it changes a variable and uh, x2 should not use the same variable something like that okay uh, there's an exception to it okay what it really means is uh, the order of execution uh, is not guaranteed for all for uh, for all operations except uh, ampersand ampersand and that means the binary and and uh, the conditional or in the conditional land okay here the order of execution is guaranteed and it happens from left to right okay from here to here and it will stop as soon as the truth or the falsehood of the expression is established that means if a the function called a returns false then none of the express b and c will be called let's say if a returns true then only b will be called but if b returns false right uh, then c won't be called if a and b both return true then only c will be called so this uh, is a fact you could use in many of your programs and i will at a future point uh, show you in certain programs of how this works okay the next thing uh, i want to stress upon is for example if you have a function call okay if you and c the arguments are n plus plus comma s n okay here you are not guaranteed which of the arguments will get uh, will get uh, evaluated first n plus plus may get evaluated first or a of n can be evaluated first so depending on the order of execution you understand that the kind of arguments that gets passed to the function is different so c does not guarantee uh, which of this gets executed first so it's better to avoid uh, these sort of confusing expressions in your programs last okay you have this kind of an expression it's the most dangerous kind of expression this thing again c does not guarantee what will happen so it's better to avoid it again depends on compiler so anything that depends on the compiler uh, for its execution right it's always better to avoid it okay so with this i'm done with uh, the lessons of precedence and association of operators in the next lesson um, <coughs> i'm going to talk about something different okay uh just before i leave you right uh just one thing i'm going to leave you with a question to think about okay so i need you to write a program which prints hello world nothing else there's only a catch you cannot use a semicolon inside the program anywhere in that file you don't have a semicolon okay without a semicolon you need to print hello world okay i'm going to leave you with this question okay best of luck <laughs>